Hey, welcome back to the Josh Boss channel. It's already Tuesday evening. Um, I actually just forgot to film stuff. I think this is gonna be a pretty chill vlog. I do have two pieces of music that I wanna learn. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually planning to go away. Um, so what, when, my, when my university summer school paper is finished, which is like in the middle of December, I'm planning to basically go away to a place called Queenstown to do a bunch of busking and try to earn some money over the summer season. Um, which basically means I won't be able to, you know, make videos, um, make my covers and my skits, right? Covers and skits. Uh, and so basically I, I want to make double what I normally make throughout this week, the next week and the following, so that I have stuff in the bank to, you know, put out during those weeks. Because I'm really adamant, I'm really like set on having a consistent schedule with this channel, posting every single week. Okay, so the first song that I'm working on this week is Tame Impala's Feels Like We Only Go Backwards. It's a really amazing song. <laughs> I think it all, it, it really takes us back to a time and a place. I say that every time, I'm sorry. But anyway, as usual, I like to try and have some kind of original input in my covers. I want to do some kind of original twist and I've got I've written a kind of a bit of a melody thing for the for the progression. So it goes like this. Yes! F F second inversion and then G minor. No way! This isn't even a G! Minor, this is a C in second inversion. What? What? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Candy floss with no cheese. Oh my gosh, a wild soul appeared. Wow. A wild Jakira appeared. Wow. The bassists. The bassists unite. Bassists unite. Except, uh, not me. I'm not a bass player. Wait, well, you play, play the bass, bass just... Oh, I can play bass. Yeah, actually, I do play bass to a certain yeah. extent yeah. with my left hand. <laughs> Sorry, I need content. <laughs> oh, I was just watching your, um, did you watch it today? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, I mean, did you like it? It's pretty good. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah. The jam There's some good so moments in it. Oh, the jam session the with, jam the with the basketball, eh? So sick, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I've come to this really cool spot here. Um, it's called Second Beach. Um, just over here is St. Clair Beach. St. Clair is my middle name, so it's a real special place to me. And uh, just along here is like Second Beach. This is what's called Second Beach. It's almost like a bit of a secret, um, even though it's like quite easy to access. It's a little bit of a local secret, I reckon. Eh? Um, no, it's a really sweet place. I've just come to do some filming for a, a, a recent um, piano tune that I composed last week that I called Song for the Waves. I don't know why I called it that, I just did. And uh, so I'm out here just filming some waves, um, trying to capture some interesting footage, like here with the flowers. See, here's some, some nice flowers. I tried to get some interesting framing, some movement. Uh, iPhone 13 camera is so good, I can literally just point at anything and it looks good. <laughs> I'm so glad I got this phone, it's honestly, the footage is just so good, I'm so happy. Yeah, I just, I just came home and I'm editing the video now and I'm just gonna post it. Yeah, that's a day's work right there, I'm, I'm pretty happy.
feels like old mate feels like we only go backwards, right? You guys ever feel that? You guys ever feel like we're going backwards? Because I do. Sometimes. Nah, just kidding. Uh. I'm sorry about this week's vlog, guys. I understand that it's kind of probably boring. Um, there just hasn't been that much happening. <laughs> I, I describe this week as one of those grindy weeks. Um, this is, this is, hey, let me, I, I wrote about it in my journal. I think this will, this will, uh, just gonna get my journal here. This one. This week has been a bit grindy. In fact, in the life of an artist, there are peaks and there are valleys. Sometimes we are high. Riding the thrill of completing our work, sharing it with others, receiving fruits for our efforts and exploring new creative ideas. Other times, though, we tread through the valleys, working silently, unseen, unheard, working hard on our projects, honing our craft, studying, learning, improving. It isn't always sunrises and sunsets. Sometimes we can't even see the sun. <laughs> yeah, basically what I'm saying is that this is one of those weeks where I feel like I'm just working. Uh, there isn't much excitement going on. Okay, time to make a cup of tea. And, uh, yeah, make a video. In this video, I wanted to talk about underestimating yourself as a musician. You gotta stop doing that. Hey, Jakira, what, so what, what's going on? What's well, um, I'm currently in costume because yeah. we are at a cabaret performing and playing our songs for um, this amazing venue. And we're in there are suits and aeroplanes and clowns, kind of, not really. Cool, okay. Like dance, it's really cool. Yeah. It's exciting. So it's a big mix of like a bunch of different things. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, Silk Sonic. What? Stage is a paddock.
Sunday morning, and yes, that is a synthesia of the Minecraft soundtrack song Sweden, which I am learning. I know, guilty. Such a simple little tune, and yet I'm learning it via synthesia. Oh gosh. Um, no, I thought I'd just, you know, I thought I'd t take a different approach to learning this one. Um, I think I said earlier in the vlog that I want to get two, two tunes this week. Uh, today's Sunday, so that is kind of like the main quest of today, is recording my Feels Like We Only Go Backwards cover and this Sweden cover. So once again, with the Minecraft tune, I'm really trying to get that uh, that relaxed feel to it. The relaxed, you know, it's got to be relaxed. It's got to be chill. It's got to be like... So it's, um, what's the time? 126 Sunday. I think I'm just gonna focus on this cover. I'm gonna get it done real quick. Um, but I really want to, I really want to get the feel right. So I'm actually gonna do extensive finger exercises so that I can get it right. I'm gonna do Hannon. Hannon is amazing. Oh my gosh. Hannon is like, oh. If you're a piano player, you don't know Hannon. Oh my gosh, you gotta try this. gosh it's 7 30 and i want to spend the rest of the day just really getting this cover just so good I, I i just played it now oh my gosh i'm feeling so good about this cover of feels like we only go backwards oh my gosh oh it's it's so good i'm so excited like the time has come do i have any incense Um, but whoa, I, uh, I'm, hap I'm happy with it. It sounds good. It sounds good. There are, there are no mistakes, which is the important thing. And the melody is on point. There are some parts that I'm not entirely happy with the delivery, with how I, what I brought out of the notes. Oh my gosh. There's so much depth that each note can have. And, and most notes that you hit, I don't know if you can relate to this if you're a musician. Most notes that I hit when I'm playing a song, I don't get the depth. Like, I don't get the depth that I'm after. I don't I don't hit that target, hit that exact target. Like, it's a spectrum, right? So the velocity is between 1 and 100, and the note falls somewhere on that spectrum. And if it's closer to 1, it means the note is a bit softer. It's softer. If it's closer to 100, it means the note's quite intense. So you've got this this scale of depth with every single note that you hit. And every every single note of the piece of music has like a perfect number on that spectrum of depth that you you want to hit. Maybe maybe not. This is probably a very flexible thing. This is where the art of playing the piano comes in. You know, the art of like dynamics and and you know, your control of the you know, the, the notes and the and the the, the depth and, and I, I guess it depends a lot on the dexterity of your fingers and the, the the touch it's it's hard to explain this kind of stuff because it's it's very um it's almost it sounds a little bit philosophical but it's, it really isn't it's quite it's quite mechanical I think um, this this idea of touch you know some pianists just have that really good touch and I think I think what it means is that they're able to get closer to the target that they're aiming for in terms of the depth of the note. Look at that, that's the end of the week. Oh my gosh, that means it's the end of the vlog too. Thanks for watching this vlog. This was one of those weeks when I was in the valley 
feeling like the work I was doing was only going backwards, but sometimes you gotta go backwards to go forwards. You know what I mean? <laughs> no more rambling from me. Have a great day. Have a great week. I'll see you next week. Vibe and subscribe. See you later.